yeah, we're bored, uh, and my scripted video isn't ready yet, so, because, man, I'm being really lazy and I haven't worked on that yet, maybe I should yes, probably get so to that. We're, we're gonna do a video that takes no effort whatsoever, so it's just one that does take effort. We're about to play War Thunder because, you know, that game is pretty cool, and so we needed something. We needed something to just give you guys a video, and something we thought would be amusing was just be looking at ugly airplanes. So why don't we just go down to the first one here? This, I love this whale. It's incredible. All right, so it says in the thing that it's made to transport uh, parts to a factory in France. I really don't see how well that would be able to do that. You know? I don't see how whale is going to do that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I seriously got a picture here where they're literally stuffing, like, the middle part of a plane inside of the plane. What? Like, like they're literally stuffing, here, let me show you, You're, they're, they're literally stuffing the middle part of a plane inside of this whale plane. <laughs> Alright. I don't really think we need to say any more about that one. Okay. <laughs> what? How old? Uh, I don't know, probably not very old. Okay, uh, let's go on to number 11. Uh, and this one um, is also an interesting design. Be my favorite one. Uh, I said it looks kind of like a... Oh, what did I say? It looks kind of like a potato if they uh, put short wings on it. And this, short... Is a cyborg. this is a cyborg potato. Cyborg potato. Yeah. This is the plane that, uh, I mean, this is what, uh, Cyborg eats, you know, from DC Comics. Yeah. It's a Cytato. Yeah, Cytato. <laughs> the, the Goblin was designed to be launched from a, oh, it was designed to be launched from a bomber, so I guess for, like, reaching fast speeds or something, and recaptured mid-air. I don't even see how this thing would fly. Not only did these fail to win style points, they also didn't work. Their performance was subpar, and they were incredibly difficult to redock. I'm sure. If you couldn't redock it, what would you do? There's no wheels on this thing. <laughs> I know. There's no landing gear. Do you just you crash? Is there an ejection seat? I can't tell if that's an ejection seat. Um, well, enough about that one. Tato is the best one so far. Okay, next one. And I actually know what this one is. I've heard of this one before. The Blomen Voss BV-141. These are just two points squished together to make a super plane. No, there actually is a really smart idea behind this, and it's for, um... I believe this one actually did fly. There was actually a few prototypes of this did fly. And the smart thing about this would be that, you know, you're a reconnaissance... In a reconnaissance plane, you might have a hard time seeing what you're trying to look at, so what they did was they put the engine in the middle, and they put this whole entire glass pot on the side, so for reconnaissance, you could just see your you could see your target and have basically uh, almost 360 degrees of visibility. I think was the concept. Well, it still looks like a super plane. Yeah, look, it's, it still looks ugly as crap, but it's it. I think you know it's functionally might have worked. It's a plane deformed It looks like somebody took a uh, Heinkel HE111. And chopped uh, part of the wing off on the right side, stuck it on the left side, and took one of the engines away. Nice. What it looks like to me. Kind of, a little bit. Yeah. I don't know, it's just... Next one, next one, let's... Next one. Kind of blowing through these. The uh, Falcon. This like a... I could see this probably being like a reconnaissance thing, too. I love this plane. I know it's by far the best thing in Right. Yeah, the clown style nose. Let, let me see if I can find what this is for. That's like a dog. <laughs> Just taking flight. How it's does it look like a dog? Look, look, it's got the big, like, brown nose and stuff. And, like, that doesn't eyes. look like a dog? What? what, yeah, what? It's probably a dog plane. Maybe a dog if you're living in Chernobyl. <laughs> it's totally a dog looking thing. Okay, hold on, let me see. Find out what this thing is actually supposed to do. Um, uh, airborne warning and full. Yeah, that's what I thought. So it was used for radar, or never mind, it's not the same plane. And it sniffed out what they just sniffed. Okay, and up with the dog crap. It's not a dog. I don't it's know. Smelled its enemy. It's perfect sense. 
Okay, I think this was used for radar. Is, I, that's just what I'm guessing. Yeah, exactly. It gets, it gets smelled. Oh my god, it does not smell, and I went to sunset. <laughs> Besides the nose, it just looks like a regular plane. With the nose, it just, it just really puts it all together. It just looks like a, like a bland, like... I don't know, 7.7 or not, but is it? But it looks kind of like... Almost like... A 747 with a weird front. Almost, kind of, because the top's not as round. Like a 737 with four engines and a weird nose. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, All right. okay. Okay. Alright, number seven. Number seven. What? This looks like a Star Wars ship. I'm gonna oh, look up, I'm gonna look up, see if I can find a better picture of this. Because this looks like it could be a Star Wars ship. Something like a praying mantis, and they could actually fly. It was used as a strategic bomber. It was later used as an aerial refueling tank. Refueling tank. I could see that as a refueling tanker. Oh my gosh, that's so much. No, okay. Hanley Page Victor. Let me see if I can find a better picture of this online. Page Vic. Vic. Victor. Hello, Victor. Victor. I am Victor. Oh, it, I thought it, it looks much smaller. Uh, when you look at some of these other pictures. It looks a little bit less weird. Not not weird, but a little bit less weird. The tail went... It looks like, uh, almost like... It looks like if they took a... Oh, what am I trying to think of? Um, oh, God, what's it called? With the ones that can take off and land like a helicopter. Why can't I think of the name of that? The audience may not, but I... Why don't I know the name of that? They used it in True Lies. Uh, why can't... That's the only thing I can remember about it. Somebody, something by Hawker. Hold on, let me look this up. True Lies, because this is going to annoy me if I don't remember. But it looks like one of those planes, if they fatten it up and put the weird tail on the end. Not that. This one isn't too... This one just isn't that weird. Eh, no, it's... It's something where if you saw it on a base, you might bat an eyelash, but... <laughs> It's not super odd. Harrier jets. That's what they're called. Harriers. Why didn't I know that? I should have known that. I'm like the plane guy. Disappointed in you, Blake. Disappointed in you for not knowing as well. <laughs> well, I don't study planes. Neither do I. <laughs> I, thought you, I thought you were a plane person. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I study planes. Number six. Let's go to number six. Once again, I don't I don't think this one looks all that weird either. Look at the nose. Yeah, I think the nose looks a little bit like and look at the line under the camera. I, I still don't think it <laughs> looks all that odd. Oh by the way, this is a Canadian plane, Drew. Yeah, I know. I just want to show you the best, but it's not just, it's not good as the citation. I don't know. I don't think it looks that interesting. I guess it was what, for fighting fires, maybe? Or no, that's fray fighter. Heck. Yeah, it just looks like an Airbus, basically. I mean, and by that, I don't mean the plane, the Airbus. It just looks like they attached wings to a bus and made it a plane. <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah, it's exactly what it looks like. It's not, a bus, it's a bus plane. Not, not, too any, not anything too interesting there. Let's just go on to the next one. Eat, beep. Okay, next one. Next one. Okay, there we go. This is like a modern day biplane. See, this is interesting. It also resembles. This here, it resembles the right flyer. This. I don't know, there's a lot wrong with this. Like, are those like just pillars in the middle? Like. Oh, fire. Yeah, this. It looks like, like, like a biplane. With uh, pillars in the middle, uh, with a weird center, and you should see the back of this plane because I've looked up some other pictures of it. Yeah, this thing is not good. It looks like a crop duster. I'm gonna assume that's what it is. Yeah. It. I mean, yeah. you know, the jet engines on the top of the cabin. That doesn't feel like it'd be a safe plane. I doubt you can bail out of that plane. Highly doubt it. I'm losing a point. 
was good, but Brandon Sutton looks cool. We need to go on to the next one. He, no, the, uh, the landing gear looks weak as crap. Looks like it's snap off on on landing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, next one, number four. Boeing X thirty two. This looks like an X thirty five with God knows what on the bottom. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh man, who designs these things? Yeah, this doesn't even look like what the hell. It just, oh, I'm speechless, Blake. This is ridiculous. Like, oh, oh. But besides the bottom, this one's also not weird besides the bottom. I don't see how you could carry weapons on that, though. Yeah, no, this thing looks strange. Or what these little doors are for. I, um, I couldn't discern that. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. <sighs> oh, whatever. Next one. I'm not, I'm not looking at that any longer. This doesn't look too bad. I mean, DH the is ginormous, but besides that, and the tail is really skinny. This looks like a like a parachute plane or something where you jump out the back or the like the back opens up. You know what I mean? Yeah. Is that what it is? I just uh. Yeah. Um, DHC dash four caribou. What, what could this thing possibly be? Um, caribou aircraft. Let's see if it tells us here. Right. Oh, it's a de Havilland plane. Oh. You probably don't understand what the, why that why I, I find that interesting. No. <laughs> Cargo aircraft. Yeah. Okay. The only reason I find that air uh, that interesting is because. Well, mainly because that. Oh, that's Austrian. Is because of um, the they also made the De Havilland mosquito during the Second World War, and that plane was uh, pretty banging. On a scale, on a scale of banging to pretty banging, it was a it was a pretty banging on the pretty banging scale. Pretty, pretty sexy looking plane, bro. Yeah, man. It's like so Sylvester Stallone, and. And Arnold Schwarzenegger had a baby. What? Okay. Okay, next one. Cast a C212. Oh. This one has a look at them. I'll tell you. That's, um... I mean, gee, like, uh... It's genius, Drew! It's genius! Now the main problem I find with these is how are they like aerodynamic? It's like how are these things getting in the air? Well, they don't. They just get up and crash. That's the whole point. So yeah. It was like the Emmy um, Emmy one sixty three comment, which I'm surprised that's not on this list. If that's if that's the number one spot on this list, I wouldn't be surprised, but I'll also be very happy that I guessed it. <laughs> okay, here we go. Do you, I doubt you do, but do you have any guess for what the number one is? I no. Actually, the, the Citeo should have been number one. Citeo. I think the 163 is going to be the number one spot, but let's just see. Okay, never mind. So. That one looks like a toothbrush. <laughs> it looks like it's really small, except for the the like the cockpit part. It looks like a freaking toothbrush. You say the the very smart things, you know. I, I, I'm honored by them. Well, I think that's a, probably a good place to end it off. You know what? We're gonna have a bonus one, just real quick. Emmy one sixty three. So you can all see what I'm talking about if you don't know what I'm talking about. It was fat. It was rocket powered. Nearly everybody who flew it died. There, What's there that? you go. That was our video. I hope you enjoyed. Anything you want to cite Tato? Yeah, so is, is that all you want to say? Yeah. Alright, I hope everybody enjoyed. Please subscribe.